Hi everyone. Recently, Laravel has moved from Laravel Mix to White. So if you are a Bootstrap user, you can face some problems installing Bootstrap in new Laravel projects. In this video, I will show you how you can install and use Bootstrap in Laravel 9 using White. So let's get started. Let's create a new Laravel project for this. Once the installation is complete, we need to install Laravel UI package. So for that we will run composer require laravel slash ui. Once the package is installed we need to run scaffolding command which is php artisan ui bootstrap. And we will add authentication as well. So once they are installed, once the scaffolding is installed we need to run npm i and npm run dev once done let's open a new tab in terminal and run our application so if we go to our application you see we are facing problem in bootstrap so in order to fix this, we need to change some things. Let's open up our project in Visual Studio Code. And the first thing we need to do is change some configuration. So open the white config.js file. I'm going to paste some code here. You can just copy paste it. It will be in the description below. So make sure you have imported path as well. This line. And that's it for this file. So we have just added the path to bootstrap. Let's close this file. The next thing we need to do is we have to update our bootstrap.js file which is inside resources JS bootstrap.js. So we have to change all the required methods inside this file to imports. I'm also going to get rid of this try catch and that is it for the bootstrap.js file. Next, we need to open our app.js file and inside we have to import our bootstrap scss. So I'm just going to copy paste that as well. Alright, once this is done, we need to go into our layout file, resources, views, layout and app blade. So I'm just going to comment this script and the styling tag. Instead, I'm going to use white directive for blade. And we are just going to reference our app.js file in the resources folder. So once done, just go back to your terminal. And if you are not running npm run dev, we are going to run that command. And let's go back to our browser now. So if I hit refresh, you can see our bootstrap is now working properly. So I hope you have liked the video and if you find the content useful, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like these. Thank you for watching this video.